But that is going to be an excellent movie. The new uh, Blade Runner 2049 comes out. I, I know I will be. I'll be bouncing off. My daughter and I are going, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, we'll be bouncing off of everything. It's going to be, we're just going to be so hyped. Um, next week, Blade Runner 2049 comes out. Harrison Ford, Ryan Gosling. Oh, I got to see it. Ryan Gosling's in it, so that ends that. Um, 30 years after the events of the first film, a new Blade Runner, Ryan Gosling, unearths a long buried secret that has potential to plunge what's left of society into chaos. I would probably go see that, but I'll go on a, um, <laughs> uh, you know, Tuesday special thing. My Little Pony comes out next week, and of course, I'm going to take my granddaughter, Dakota, to see that. Um, so that's coming out. Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, they'll all be in it. So it's going to be going to be pretty good for her. Yeah, Blade Runner looks really good. Ryan Gosling, hoo hoo. Uh, you can't beat Ryan Gosling. I'm sorry. Better Watch Out comes out next week. Um, One Snowy Night on a Quiet sur Suburban Street, a babysitter defends her 12 year old charge from intruders, but quickly learns that it's one extraordinary home invasion. That demands, and yeah, isn't it though? Yeah, kind of a documentary on ours, isn't it, Chris? On civilization, if you think about it. Um, so, Better Watch Out comes out. Bad Grandmas, Judge Reinhold, Pam Greer, Florence Henderson. It's a dark comedy about four grandmothers who accidentally kill a con man. That might be hilarious, I don't know. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, Chris, for sure. Um, the Osiris Child, Science Fiction Volume 1, comes out. It's set in a time of interplanetary colonization. Um, it's, it's a sci-fi movie, basically. Um, a drifter with a haunted past forms an unlikely alliance with a lieutenant who works off-world military contractor. So it's, it's a sci-fi. Um, the Stray comes out. It's a stray dog called Pluto. Uh, Brawlin Selbach, 99. Vince Vaughn, Jennifer Carpenter. Uh, Loving Vincent. Let's see. Oh, now, this one I might have to see only because I've seen the original. That was one of the first movies I have seen saw when I was little. My mom used to, oh yeah, definitely saw for sure, Chris, for sure. This one I might go see only because... It was one of the first horror movies I saw growing up because my, my dad worked nights. He was a cop, so he worked third shift sometimes. They switched shifts. So my mom would get me up out of bed to watch horror movies with her. And one of the first ones I saw was Dementia 13. And they just did it again. Um, that's coming out. So I might have to go see that to, to see what they did with it. I don't know if any of you have seen the original Black and White. It is an excellent movie. It, it's a creepy movie. Um, a vengeful ghost, a mysterious killer, and family burning with secrets. It, it, it was a really good movie. It really was. Um, walking Out. Now, this might interest you. Um, Lori, Matt Bomer is in it. It's called Walking Out. Matt Bomer, Bill Pullman, uh, Josh Wiggins. Um, once a year, 14-year-old David travels from his mom's home to Texas to visit his dad, Matt Bomer, in the remote mountains of Montana. Then the two embark on their annual hunting excursion, um, during which Cal attempts to connect with his smartphone-addicted son. But a terrifying turn of events leaves Cal critically wounded, and it's up to David to summon enough strength for both of them. You, you might have to see it. Dementia 13, you saw it? Yeah. I might have to go see, the, see that. So, um... A couple of them coming out that I might have to go see. Mountain Between Us and Dementia 13. So, and My Little Pony, I've taken Dakota to see that. So, those are a few coming out next week. And uh, then after that, uh, some of the Halloween movies will be coming out. Let's see what opens Friday the 13th. Are y'all set for Friday the 13th? I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about anybody else, but... That was a good movie, wasn't it, Laura? I liked it. 
Um, and of course, you know, Friday the 13th. So Happy Death Day is coming out. They've, I've seen that advertised. I don't know. That doesn't, um, that doesn't look too bad. I'd probably see it just for the heck of it. Um, the Foreigner with Jackie Chan comes out. Um, so that comes out. Happy Death Day, of course. Uh, no Malone. That's uh, about gnomes and trogs and everything. A Blood Money comes out. John Cusack. Oh, I might have to see that. Three fans on a wilderness excursion must outrun a white-collar criminal held by not retrieving his cash. But soon their greed turns them against each other. I like John Cusack, though. Um, let's see. Six Below, Miracle on the Mountain, Josh Hartnett. Wow, haven't heard his name in a while. Um, a Snowstorm Strands for former professional hockey player, Josh Hartnett, atop a mountain for eight days. Um, I, a Hitchcock shower scene is coming out. Um, it's kind of a documentary. Overdrive, Scott Eastwood is coming out. This is ten, on Friday the 13th. So the only one really coming out is, um, Happy Death Day. So I'm sure, um, I think people will be going to see that. So, and saw, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, so those are a couple of them I want to go see. Anyway, not too many, <laughs> um, but there's a couple. So, um, what, so next week, be prepared to answer the question, you know, what five top movies are you going to definitely watch in October for Halloween? Yeah, that's like <laughs> Horror Groundhog Day. Yeah, isn't that the truth? I like that, Horror Groundhog Day. That's good. That's good. Have a meat and grind hog. Um, let me check something. Okay. I saw. When is it coming out? That doesn't tell me anything. Ah, okay. Jigsaw will be coming out October 27th. Okay, so right before Halloween, it'll be coming out. Happy Death Day. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's like Horror Groundhog Day. I like it, I like it. That works. Uh, Jigsaw will be out October 27th. I wish we all lived closer. We could all go. Um... So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So, that'll be in theaters October 27th. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right before Halloween, so. That'll be good. That'll be a big one. So, yay. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I love the Saw movies. Gerald's Game. <laughs> Gerald's Game. The movie? When's that out, Lori? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, I'll watch it when it comes out. No, you're not going to see that either, Chris. <laughs> you're so funny. You crack me up. Um, oh dear God. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings about, um, them redoing Pet Cemetery, Jaws, and all those. I really have, um, mixed feelings about that. I'm, I'm tired of kind of the remakes. I, I mean... 
Seriously. I'm looking forward to Jigsaw, though. That's going to be one I'm going to go see for sure. So. Oh, it did? Ah, okay. Okay. I was going to say something else, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, darn. Um, it's on Netflix now. Oh, okay. Okay. I got so much other things to catch up on. I don't know. Here's some Hollywood gossip for you if you're interested. Chris Jenner wants to film Khloe Kardashian's entire pregnancy. What the hell? Come on, people. I Nobody wants to see that. Thank you. Who cares? Who cares? Seriously. Um, I, I, Kardashian. Who are they? Anyway, nobody. I'd like to be that famous and not have to do anything. Um, ah, and of course, you know, Kate Middleton is pregnant with the third baby. She's a busy girl there. Heirs to the throne. Um, yeah, yeah, you're not kidding. I, I would, who the hell cares? Seriously. Wow. I don't care. Um, I, somebody must, though, apparently. I don't know. I, I just don't understand it myself. Uh, who watches? I mean, a lot of these reality shows. Hey, Michelle. You think guys want to see the full pregnancy of Khloe Kardashian? Seriously? Oh, uh, don't work too hard, Michelle. Thanks for stopping by. Don't work too hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you and me both, Chris. There is a word in between. Now, about these realities, like the Kardashians, who cares? Well, hi, Michelle. You're a sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> you gonna watch Kardashians, Chloe's pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle, you're so funny. I love you. Um, these reality shows. Okay. Do you want anybody watch The Bachelorette or The Bachelor? Who cares? I mean, seriously, who could it be? Kim, Chloe, and Kylie, all the intel on all the babies. Yay, who cares? I mean, seriously. Um, and, of course, Megan Kelly's back in the news. Um, but as bad a week as everybody might have had in Cheesy Broccoli. <laughs> yeah, right, Cheesy, Cheesy Rice. <laughs> crazy man, crazy man, yeah, what What do you think about Megan Kelly, um, wow, she really bombed in her first week of hosting the Today Show, I used to watch it a while ago, but I don't even watch it anymore, um, and it looks like her, Kelly's move to NBC will be remembered as a media equivalent of Crystal Pepsi, a costly corporate misstep that left everybody shaking their heads. Oh, isn't that too bad? Cheesy, crazy man coming. Yep. Um. Oh, dear God. Here's Chloe. She's back in the news. What is up with these girls? I could care less. Um, Chloe Kardashian. I never lied. Lamar Odom was just sterile. Do we care? No, but why are they in the news all the time? Uh, Miranda Miranda Lambert is moving on after Blake. She's eloping. Isn't that nice? Um, <laughs> oh, these people crack me up. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? Apparently somebody does. I don't know, but it certainly isn't me. I'll tell you that much. They're in, they're in the gossip every week for something. 
I think they do it on purpose just so they're, um, 